Hello my lovelies! Uh, welcome to Hair Day. Every Wednesday here at Torn Inc. we do hairstyles. Welcome to week three of protective hairstyles. We are doing three buns today. JJJ's pretzel bun, the Nautilus bun, which you should all know and love by now, and Spider Mom's bun that stays. Um, all three of today's buns are wrapped buns. Um, I like wrapped buns. They're fast, they're easy, and they work for a lot of different hair types. Um, some of these buns will also work for a lot of different hair lengths. Uh, we are going to begin with JJJ's pretzel bun. I always say it's JJJ's pretzel bun. JJJ in question is JJJ long hair for you to see. She has floor length hair. She was my very first YouTube friend and this is one of the very first buns that she taught me. Um, it is a wonderful workhorse bun for me. Uh, number one, it adapts to all sorts of hair lengths, which is awesome. Um, and number two, I use this particular bun as a base for a lot of other hairstyles. Um, because you can leave the tail out. You eat up length, leave the tail out, and then you can do all kinds of things with the hair that's left over. Um, so you have seen me do this bun before, although I never did a tutorial on it because I just sent you over to JJJ to watch her do it. Uh, but since we are doing uh, protective styles, I wanted to include it because I do wear it a lot. And in honor of JJJ, instead of holding it with pins or fork or sticks or anything else like I usually hold this with, we're going to hold it with jaw clips because that is her preferred method because she has, you know, feet and feet and feet of hair. Um, also, it's probably the most protective way to do it and it's really comfortable. So I'll be using these two jaw clips. Um, they are flowered. They match, but they don't match. Um, these were a gift from my friend Jamie, but the most important thing about these is that they have really strong hinges. Um, also, I have managed to not break the teeth off of them yet. Shockingly. Let's get to this bun. So, like many wrapped buns, you start with your hair in a pony position. So let me just brush all this back. Like so. We get hold of it like a pony, making sure I'm smooth. Um, hold your left hand against your head, wrap your hair up and around. Now this is where this bun is good for varying lengths. You can wrap once if you're around. I would say between BSL and waist length, you should be able to get one wrap. Um, if you're having problems, try two or three fingers instead of, you know, your whole hand. Um, and then you would pull through. Me, I'm going to wrap twice. Technically, I can wrap three times, um, but I like to wrap twice, and I'm going to show you why. So you pull your tail through, as such. Yay. And then I take the tail, and I just wind it around and tuck it up underneath. Now, I know you guys have seen me do this before a few times, and then we do fancy things with the tail, but we're going to take our clips and just clip them into the sides. Like so. I'm not sure if I'm even in my mirror, even enough. There we go. This is a bun that holds very well. Two clips, you see, that's all it took. It's pretty. Since it's one of the longer buns, it is well dispersed. It does not pull. It does not hurt. It looks fine from the front. You get a little bit kind of deal. Um, I like this bun. JJJ's pretzel bun. This is a really good one, and it is very, very comfortable. Um, I mean, take it from a woman that has floor-length hair. She wears this bun, and her head doesn't hurt. What more do you need? <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna take a picture of this and then I'm gonna take it down. And next up is Spider Mom's Bun That Stays. See you in a sec. All right, bun number two, Spider Mom's Bun That Stays. For today's bun, I am using my largest stick with the exception of my giant chopstick I used to part my hair. This came from Susan. 
Um, she made this for me. She calls them hair spikes instead of hair sticks. You will see it is beautifully, hopefully it'll focus, it's beautifully carved. I did paint it a little in the twirls, but she carved this. And it is, I always say it's like my vampire killing steak as well. But this is perfect for my spider mom bun. Now, spider mom, if you don't know, uh, is the most epic commenter on the LHC, or at least she was, when I frequented the LHC, which most of you know I'm not really around much there anymore. Um, but this is her bun, and she outgrew it because she says she can't quite get it to stay anymore. So uh, her hair, she has more length than I do, of course. Um, but I find uh, most people wear this bun lower on their head, and this is one of the ones that I wear up very high on my head because that's where it feels the best to me. So this is Spider Mom's butt. As always, pony. You'll see mine is very high. So I'm going to wrap around my hand twice, and then I'm simply going to go roundy roundy the base. Um, yay! So, we pull the first loop over, like so, scoop it underneath the first loop, pull our second loop over like so, and pull it through the second, and that's it. That's Spider Mom's bun. Um, actually, this is lower than I usually wear it. But there you go. It's a, it's just wrapped. It's a double loop. You do need a good amount of length for this one. I'm not going to lie to you. But uh, I find that it's nicely stable. Um, like I said, you see this stick is perfect. Um, this is the looser version. You can make this tighter if you want, which I'm going to show you just so we have options. But this is it. So I am going to try and move it up a little bit just so we can see what that looks like um, where I usually do it. And I'll make it a little tighter because I know some of you distrust looser buns. <laughs> to make it tighter, we're going to spin. Oh, my hair's a little long, guys. Sorry. We're going to spin first before we do the wraps. Um, I showed you, you do not have to do this. You do not, but this will make for a tighter bun. Okay, this time, two fingers, double wrap, and then we're gonna wrap around. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Roundy, roundy the base. Now this one, I'm going in the opposite direction because like I said, this, makes for the tighter version of this bun. Same thing though. Loop over here, scoop underneath. You wanna make sure you get some scalp hair. It's gonna be a little more wiggling because this is the tight version. Um, and then you come out over here in this loop. Again, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Now, this one feels really, really tight when you put it up, but then it will relax. And you see this is usually how I wear it, really high up on my head. Um, like so, so you can see how it looks. Um, I am not sure what it is supposed to look like back here because mine always looks like this. But this is Spider Mom's bun. I like this one a lot, especially when I'm having one of those weeks where I usually wear my bun hurts. I can adjust this up a little bit and then it doesn't hurt. And as you can see, when you do it tighter, it really stays, which is why it's called Spider Mom's Bun That Stays. Although it has been shorthanded, at least by me, and it's just the Spider Mom's Bun. So uh, I'll take a picture of this one, and then we will get to our finale, the well-beloved, well-used Nautilus. Fatness. Alrighty, my dolls, very last bun for today, the Nautilus. Many of you are going to say yes, but I prefer the lazy wrap. That's awesome, you do the lazy wrap. I did finally learn 
how to do the lazy wrap and it doesn't hold for me very well at all. I mean, I get it up, but it slides out pretty quickly. So it is not gonna be one of my favorite buns. If it is one of your favorite buns, that's awesome, you rock it. Um, I prefer the Nautilus because I need the extra twist to make it really feel stable for me. It's just the way of things. They're very, very similar. One has a twist, one does not. And that's pretty much the only really big difference. Um, today, just to change up what we hold things uh, with, I am going to hold my hair with a Flexi 8 because Flexi 8s work great for a Nautilus. Some of you are going, that's a really big one. This is a Mega. I need a Mega. <laughs> so, Nautilus bun. You guys, of course, have seen me do this quite a few times. Some of you guys learned it from me years ago. Um, some of you have only learned it recently, which is also great. Um, as long as we're learning, right? So here's the thing, a lot of you say you can't do it, and you are like, Weasley, I can't do this bun. Yes, you can, you just can't do it like me. When I take my first loop, I use my whole hand, because I have a lot of hair. If you have less length than me, don't use your whole hand, use two fingers instead. That's all. So, let's do the Nautilus. I take my right hand, I put it underneath. You'll see I have my palm facing outwards, underneath this ponytail. I pull, and as I pull, I twist. So you see, we have a loop. I take my thumb, I poke it through this loop. The rest of the hair, I'm going to twirl and wrap around the base. Twirling and wrapping, twirling and wrapping. It doesn't matter which direction you twirl. I just twirl two opposite ways because it sincerely does not matter. Once you have a base, I grab it with my right hand. I take the loop. I pull it over. Shove the hair through. See, like so. Now, a lot of people can get this to hold. It holds sometimes for me, but not often. So now is when you poke a stick through. But like I said, we're gonna use one of these because it's pretty. It's still, if you look at it, it's a stick. See, we have our loop of hair. You go over the loop, underneath your middle section, and it pops out on the other side. So the loop of hair is kind of the bit for the, oh gosh, even my mega doesn't wanna work. I can get it, hold on, there we go. This is the Mega, this is the largest Flexi. Yay, Nautilus bun. And it will hold, it will hold, it will hold. Um, I don't even know, it feels like it's slightly off the kilter. Let me look. Um, actually, no, it's not too bad. My ends are sticking out though, on this side. Um, so we'll just tuck those in. Ta-da! <laughs> That's a Nautilus, it stays. It stays really well. Um, this is the bun that I use the absolute most during the week, um, throughout my day, around the house. Um, anytime I need to get my hair out of the way, I throw out a Nautilus because it takes no time to make. Now I know it seems like it took longer because I explained in detail every little step, <laughs> but it really, loop, wrap, ta-da. Um, it takes 20 seconds or less to make this bun. Um, and it is the bun that I wear more often than not. I, I really do, uh, because it's fast, I can hold it with one stick, and it's a piece of cake. It's also super easy to take down. You take the stick out, it falls down, ta-da! That's kind of nice. Um, I don't use it as a base for anything else, really. Um, you can sort of use it as a base for, uh, like a knotted pony, it works great. Um, but basically I use it as it, it's designed it, to get my hair all up out of the way quickly. Um, the Nautilus is probably my favorite bun for quickness. Um, JJJ's pretzel bun is my favorite bun for styling because I can take that bun and turn it into so many other hairstyles. Um, and Spider Mom's bun is my favorite bun when I need to switch my bun around. Um, Cause I just moving it that little bit on my head saves my scalp. Um, 
So there you go. There are the last three protective hairstyles of this month. Uh, you may have learned one of these. Some of you may have never seen Spider Mom's Bone. Um, I assume most of you are aware of JJJ's pretzel bun since I have used it so many times, but some of you have remarked that I never did a tutorial on it. Seriously though, go look for JJJ long hair for you to see. It is beautiful and she just put up a new video with curls. Um, even if it's only to be jealous of how beautiful her hair is. Um, but she is a very, very nice lady. Um, she has been very supportive of me over the years. And uh, she has so much information about how to take care of hair. And she's past floor length, so she knows how to take care of hair. Um, any hoodles, that's it for me today. Um, one small, tiny thing, now that we're at the end of the video, and I got all the instructions out of the way, how do we feel about this? I got a new camera. Some of you missed Monday and Tuesday's videos because you only come here on Wednesdays when we do hair tutorials and uh, this will seem new to you as in I know I'm sweating and with this high def it's probably picking it up because I can see every line in my face now <laughs> and my teeth look much worse than usual uh you can tell how crooked they are basically they are basically but that's okay whatever I've got crooked teeth and always have so um but the nice thing is I'm hoping that you can deal with the crackiness because the hair should look even better. Uh, we are in super high definition now. Um, I finally got my new camera. Everybody say thank you to the beloveds um, who donated on Patreon to get us this new camera. Say thank you. Um, say thank you to Chad for the lights. Um, I have lights. As you can probably tell, I am illuminated, which is also why I'm sweating. Um, we are in my bathroom, as a matter of fact. We are. Seriously, look, ha! We're just over here. Uh, yeah, so, um, do you like this? Do you like this better, or do you prefer it when we're in the mirror um, with the straight blue background? Get over there. Even though I did buy the shower curtain to be a background, you know. Um, <laughs> seriously though, um, input, I need input from y'all. Um, a lot of you guys do just like the bathroom, which is great. Um, it will be even better in winter because then maybe I won't sweat quite so much because <laughs> we are in here. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, you noticed. I hope the quality goes up. I hope I am able to, um, we won't always be able to film this direction because this was all done, so it's all up. So when we have to do, um, you know, longer shots, we'll see, we'll see how that works out. Um, but I am more mobile now and I can move around the house. Um, somebody mentioned they would like to see outside. Uh, as soon as I figure out how to mic properly, I did get a camera with a uh, mic jack, so we can have an external mic. We'll see. I have to fiddle with that and experiment a bit. But um, yeah, we might actually be able to go outside in sunshine and prettiness. So, yay. Alrighty, um, yeah, let me know if you like this this way with a plainer background, if it's easier for you to see the hair, or if you're like, whatever, your bathroom's your bathroom, it's all gravy, which is also totally cool. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is, oh, our last movie of the month of, I love this movie, why does nobody else like this movie? And then Friday, we're going to talk about the issues I've had with the new camera. My issues, not the camera's issues. The camera's perfect. It's me. It's operator error because I'm an old. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, I will see you tomorrow. Some of you, some of you, I will see you next week because I know you're only here for the hair. Okay, I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.